Hello everyone, Mark Daniel Patrick here, musical theater coach. Thank you so much for taking time to check out the channel. And just before we get started, don't forget we do have a brand new website being built where we're going to offer perks, merchandise, one-on-one -on -one masterclass sessions. And so that's all coming up with a brand new website. Stay tuned for that. As always, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and do leave me a comment on the other side. Comments especially on what you'd like to see in future videos and how you'd like to see them done. I'm not sure if a lot of people want to see just straight reaction videos just for more entertainment value, or if you'd like me to go into a little bit more detail and more masterclass style of uh, breaking it down and a little bit more analysis in the performances. I'm happy to do either one, so go ahead and leave me a comment on what you'd like to see, and maybe we could do some videos that would be more entertainment, some more masterclass style, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Today we're going to take a look at a song that we just reviewed last week. So we looked at Shoshana Bean performing She Used to Be Mine from the musical Waitress. We had a lot of comments on that video with people mentioning the name Jeremy Jordan and to react to his rendition of the song. So I thought since this song is still fresh in my mind from last week's video, why not go ahead and take a look at this one? So I'm sorry for the repeat so quickly, but maybe it'll be good to kind of compare the two uh, side by side. I will admit I've never been the biggest Jeremy Jordan fan. I don't know why, I can't really put my finger on it. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of his his take as, as Jack Evans in the most recent revival of Disney's The Newsies. I don't know why, and maybe that's a great reaction video to come where we can kind of dissect that performance and uh, and see where it hit and where it failed, uh, in, in my opinion. Obviously, Jeremy Jordan, no stranger to musical theater. Uh, he was in the film version of The Last Five Years. He also played a part in this very musical Waitress, so it'll be interesting to see his take on the song She Used To Be Mine. Now, of course, this is Jenna's big song in the show, and I get asked a lot about gender roles, and honestly, for me, I say screw it. If you can sell this song, why not sing it? You know, when I was in school, I used to be told by um, a lot of my teachers that only to bring in songs or bring in roles that, that you would actually play. I would say that still carries some weight uh, a little bit, but overall, if this is a song that, that you can show off your singing chops and your acting chops all together, why would you not bring that to an audition? Uh, that's the whole point, is to put your best foot forward for an audition, so if this is a song that you can kill and it happens to be a female song uh, and you're a male performer or vice versa, to me, I wouldn't have a big problem with it. Why not just bring it forward and, and, and kill it? Make them, you know, make the casting directors think differently about the song. and. That's, at the end of the day, that's what you're trying to do in an audition, so I don't really have a problem with it. So, with that being said, let's go take a look. It's not simple to say that most days I don't recognize me at these shoes and this apron. This place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them. It's not easy. So, so far, he's really very reserved, very uh, just taking the song in, um, which, is, which is perfect, which is what the song needs. And this is maybe like my biggest critique of Jeremy Jordan is he seems to, to me, when I've seen him in the past, he always seems to overact, in my opinion. But this is, this is quite perfect right here. I'm not anything like I used to be all those true I was never attention sweet See like the little subtle acting traits that he has, right? The fidgeting with his hands, the even the, the scratch up on the side of his forehead. <clears throat> I guarantee you if he was to perform the song again, he would do all of that exactly the same once again. It's just giving his uh, just giving his hands something to do, right? Giving him something to do, keeping the audience a little bit more engaged. You'd be surprised just standing there and, and trying to just sing a song and, and with your arms at your side, it, it gets a little dull, not only for yourself, because it becomes more terrifying because you, you feel like you're a little bit out of place, but also the audience also feels for you as well. They can feel that. So this is um, the nice little subtle acting traits he's putting in is very good. I still remember She's imperfect, but she tries. She is good, but she lies. She's hard on herself. She is broken and won't ask for help. It's very well done. I think I made this comment with Shoshana as well when she performed this song, but 
So you have the melody repeating over and over, kind of the same, the same thing, right? And, and you need some variation. This one I especially like because he can sing out those notes all he wants. He can really kill this song if he wanted to, but he doesn't. He kind of almost cracks on, on a couple of those high notes and kind of just lets it, lets it fall away uh, and really, really drags out the emotion in it. And that's, that's quite beautiful. So he lets it crack and lets it fall a little bit, but then, but then all of a sudden the next line, you know, holds it on a little bit more and says, no, no, I can, I can really sing. Yeah, that's, I find that is, that's very well done. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely. Most of the time she is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful life. She is gone. And it's not what I asked for. Sometimes life, oh, it slips in it's through the up. back door and carves out a person that makes you believe it's all true. Now I've got you. You're not what I asked for. If I'm honest, I know I would give it all back for a chance to start. That's beautiful. He's not playing it up too much again, but now he's starting to show some singing chops, starting to, to bring it into the song. Um, that's exactly what you need, right? He's building on it. And I talk about this all the time in the channel, of course, building on blocks to get to a certain place. I'm assuming he's going to, he's going to destroy this song vocally eventually. I also like, I really like his phrasing of the song. It's a little bit different than Shoshana. He's not breathing in the same areas that she did. Um, He's kind of holding on to notes and elongating notes and jumping on to the next one um, instead of like putting in that that break that's written in the music. And it's it's working for him. I like it. It's, it's a, it creates a nice flow to the song. For that girl that I knew would be reckless just enough Who'd get hurt Oh, who learns how to toughen up And she's bruised and gets used by a man See that one again. That's a, to me for me. That's a typical Jeremy Jordan. Over. I mean, I get it. it it's it's fine for the character, right? He's he's she's he she. Just they're just, they're so frustrated right now in this point of the song. I get it, but maybe even just like a, a stomp forward with your foot, just some sort of like instead of that that big that big kick would have been to me would have been more realistic. It kind of takes you out of it a little bit. Makes it a little bit cartoonish when he goes for that big you know, that big fake kick. I to me, anyways, it just takes me out of it just slightly a, a little bit, right? That's, that's all. That's been gone, but it used to be I really love actually he really uh, again compared to Shoshana he I think Shoshana Bean played it as more of like that those elongated notes she sang them more a little bit more angry uh, just angry about the situation in her life and and it became a little bit more to me it was a little bit more cringeworthy when you when you play it that way to me he softens it a little bit it's almost more heart-wrenching uh, it almost brings me forward and wants me to more empathize with the character rather than cringe and 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 fall back um, so to me, that's it. I, I love that. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely most of the time. She's all of this mixed up, baked, and beautiful. Hmm. That's really well done. I mean, that's so he's already spent the last. 30 45 seconds really singing out the song and showing you the pipes he has 
that beautiful pie he almost he almost spoke those words that's to me i love that variation in a song when when an actor can can show off what he's got and then all of a sudden bring down these soft moments and and really kind of throw away a couple notes and and really just speak through it that's so powerful that that really that that shows the control and the conviction you have in your performance that you're not afraid to to not sing out every note she is gone but she is to me that's really good that's great i think for me that's a that's a solid performance right there from him i think that's that's quite uh i appreciate him taking on a, a female song uh and and selling it the way he did and and really feeling it and being in it and i think so that's that's a perfect example of how you need to perform a musical theater song every single time you're on stage. I read so many comments in this channel of people saying, oh, she's not there to perform, or they're not there to perform this song, they're just singing for fun. In my opinion, which maybe means nothing, but in my opinion, I feel like every time someone's taking time out of their lives and money out of their pockets to sit and watch you perform, you should be actually performing the song, right? He has, in. In this clip, he has nothing more than an empty stage, a microphone, and an audience full of people. If you're a performer, or wanting to be a performer in life, I mean, you should be so lucky to have those three things. And if you have those three things, you should use them and give yourself to the song. And that's exactly what he does, and that's a perfect example of it, is for that, what is it, three minutes and 58 seconds, he gives us everything he's got into performing that song. And it's not just, oh, look at this, look at this artist standing up there singing for fun. Okay, that's all we have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And like I said, leave me a comment of any future videos you'd like to see or comments you have on this one. Until next time, I'm Mark Daniel Patrick, and thanks so much for watching.